thank you very much, Dean uh, Pardue, for everything that you do. Uh, UGA's uh, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, uh, UGA, and I stayed proud to have someone with your background and your vision leading our School of Agriculture. Uh, let me thank everybody who's here, uh, the, uh, who has uh, come out to support this Global Food Security Summit. Uh, and I want to give a special thanks to those who have come to bring their expertise to the uh, And of course, it's always good to be with my friend and my colleague, Austin Scott. Uh, we work so hard. Austin is a champion uh, for agriculture in Washington and here in Georgia, and we work so well together uh, for uh, American agriculture and Georgia agriculture. And uh, it's a delight uh, to have this friendship and us collaborate and fighting for uh, agriculture. Uh, also, uh, glad to see Zippy, uh, glad to see all of you here with the secretary, who uh, is our former governor, and my former colleague, and George Senator. Uh, we're just in a very, very good position uh, to do great things for urban agriculture and for the world. I am proud uh, to live in a state, uh, an agriculture state, with 42,000 farms, and where agriculture contributes almost $80 billion annually to the state of national economy. My district, the Middle and Southwest Georgia, is an agriculture powerhouse. Uh, where we lead the state in peanuts, cotton, corn, fruit and vegetables, as well as family and timberland. Uh, agricultural research uh, is crucial to keeping us number one uh, because in America we produce the highest quality, the safest, the most abundant, and the most economical food we find for anywhere in the industrial world. Whether it's conducted here in the United States or abroad, agricultural research has forever transformed the landscape, farming, and food production. From the hybridization of plant species and the production of biofuel, utilization of precision agricultural technology, the country invests in agricultural research. World benefits. Studies have shown that. Public investment in agricultural research has resulted in large economic benefits with annual rates returned in 26%. Much of this research is taking place at our nation's land grant institutions, like the University of Georgia and Fort Valley State University. Uh, USID partnered with the University of Georgia uh, last year and gave a $14 million grant. The helping developing countries grow healthy crops it is a peanut land, a global peanut research program. Uh, USDA uh, helped researchers at Fort Valley uh, with a grant to study how to manage borrower bug infestation, which costs farmers millions of dollars a year. Uh, cutting edge research, training the next generation of agricultural economists, ag business entrepreneurs, Food science. Value of our land grants is impossible in the state. Now, the House of Representatives passed the FY 2020 Ag Appropriations Bill, uh, includes strong support for 1862, 1890, and 1994 land grant institutions, and $3.3 billion for agricultural it also includes $10 million for a new scholarship program created by the Fierce Farm Bureau to target students for food and agricultural science at the uh, Our agricultural industry is only as strong as the pipeline of future young people who will pursue careers in food and ag science. Now, uh, the House Ag Appropriations Bill also uh, rejects uh, a proposed elimination of food for peace program and the McGovern Dole program, uh, which strongly promotes global food security and reinforce America as a good neighbor in the world community. It provides $1.85 billion for food for peace 
235 million for the Dove and Dole, which is 11.7 percent. This, I want to point out, is a bipartisan demonstration of support for our food security aid work. Both Democrats and Republicans in the House, certainly in the House Ag Subcommittee of Appropriations, fully support these programs. And I'm sure that that is of great interest. All in all, we invested $2.3 billion in international food aid. These programs and American commodities all over the world address over hunger and are essential food for diplomacy. We know that where hunger remains, instability spread. Food security provides a solid foundation for peaceful communities and support vital agriculture. Hopefully, we can convince the Senate to accept our numbers in the House on the conference bill in just a few weeks. Now, today, as you explore global food security, through building resilience in agriculture and the relationship between nutrition and health, you and the tremendous array of panelists that are here today are taking another major step toward improving the quality of life of people <coughs> on this planet for years to come. The court said, this is strange how principles of pain found in hatred sort of thing. And common folks like you and me are filled with old things. Each is given a bag of food, made with masks instead of food. But each must make their life strong. I just want to thank everyone here today uh, for not being stumbling blocks, but for being stepping stones for better quality of life uh, for human kind, everything through emotion, emotion.